Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, hopefully the quality of this video is not going to be too bad. I'm recording on my iPhone because I just dropped my camera and the lens got damaged somehow when I dropped it so it's not letting me record and I don't know if you can see that but the lens is kind of like instead of it's got like a little it's kind of going upward it's hard to explain but anyway it's a Canon G7X so if you know anything about how to get lens repaired on this camera please comment below because that just stressed the fuck out of me just now because this is my only camera to record with and I don't have $800 to go buy another one so anyway <laughs> I'm recording on my iPhone this video is going to be about um, my two-week weight symptoms so um, I'm gonna try to remember everything off the top of my head because I wrote down all my notes in my iPhone I'm recording on my iPhone so I'm not able to look at them but basically I'm in my two-week weight <clears throat> I'm supposed to get my menstrual cycle at the end part of this week today is sunday i'm sh I'm supposed to get it thursday friday according to my ovia app in one of my last videos i i talked about my ovia app and i use it to try to <clears throat> keep track of my cycle and see if you know the pre-mama is going to give me any regularity so i can pinpoint ovulation um and what have you so um you know I have to say I really feel like I don't have very many symptoms for my two-week weight I feel like all of the symptoms that I do have could have a very good explanation other than pregnancy um, it's not that I'm not hopeful because I am hopeful but at the same time I'm just kind of like I don't have very many symptoms um, this is my uh, first cycle with the pre-mama. I have no idea if it's working, not going to work. Um, I have found, you know, I have some some activity going on in my uterus since I've been using the pre-mama. You know, little pulls and pinches and cramps and all types of things. So, you know, maybe, maybe something, something going on, you know, as far as, you know, ovulating and... Um, you know, hopefully this cycle will be successful. It's my first cycle, so we'll see. Anyway, my first symptom that I would say is probably the the one that I'm, you know, watching the most is fatigue. Um, I have been very tired this cycle on the pre-mama. I've been tired for almost two weeks now. Um, just very, very tired. And so... I've been watching that all day yesterday. I just, yesterday was Saturday, all I wanted to do was sleep and lay around. Even today when I woke up this morning, I didn't have a whole lot of energy, but I knew I had to get up and get moving. I had things I had to do. So I just got myself some caffeine. I don't usually drink caffeine. If I do, I'll drink it in green tea. But I got myself some caffeine. And I just been, you know, drinking that today because I was like, I got stuff I got to do. I cannot lay around like I did on Saturday. <clears throat> so fatigue, exhaustion is definitely something that I've been dealing with um, this cycle. And my other symptom um, has been uh, some cramping. I, I think that's pretty normal. You know, I'm supposed to be getting my period this week within a few days. So, you know, slight cramping here and there is not out of the norm for me. Um, I, in fact, I cramp my whole cycle. I cramp before my period, after my period, you know, all of that. So cramping is not a big, huge deal, but I have noticed, um, some cramping, different type of cramping, but cramping nonetheless. I hope that that cramping means that, you know, something that different type of cramping means that something different is going on, something good, different. Is going on this cycle I'm ovulating and then maybe I possibly got pregnant so cramping is then another symptom 
Um, another one that I didn't think was a symptom, but I put it in my Ovia app because in your Ovia app, you can every single day say what's going on with you, how you're feeling, what your symptoms are in your cycle. Um, and so I had put that I was in the mood. I've been feeling in the mood um, quite a bit this cycle. And, you know, particular, particularly in the past two to three days, I've been feeling in the mood and we, you know, have been doing things. So um, when I put that in the Ovia app, um, I think it was a two days ago when I looked at my Ovia app, based on what you put into the Ovia app, it'll say, you know, based on this or that or da 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 is common or uncommon it'll say it's common for women to feel you know blah blah, blah. so in my ovia app it basically said that it was common for women to feel in the mood in early pregnancy so i was like oh that was news to me so that kind of got me a little bit excited i was like mm, okay maybe maybe something's going on so feeling in the mood is according to that app a uh, early pregnancy symptom um and then my final um, let me see if I can remember what it is. There's the final one. Um, my final symptom. Uh, okay, so cramps in the mood. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I dropped my camera and that's on my mind right now. But anyway, um, cramps in the mood. Um, what was the first thing I said? Fatigue, exhaustion. Uh, oh, I've been tracking my temps. I haven't been regular with it, but I've been tracking my BBT um, temp. And I noticed that uh, my BBT has been high. Now it fluctuates. Some mornings is, is you know, on the lower end, but then other mornings is high. So my highest reading has been a 98 degree. Um, that's been my highest, and my lowest has been like 96.7 or something like that. Um, I have not tracked my temps before, so I can't. Um, you know compare it to a previous cycle or anything like that tracking my temp is tracking my temps is new for me so um i'm going to continue to track and hopefully i'll see some consistency but having a high bbt basal body temperature is an early pregnancy symptom um when it stays consistently high so I, it hadn't really stayed consistently high and i've only been tracking it for maybe about the past week or so um, but, you know, like I said, it has been, so that's a possibility. So those are my, I think, four two-week late symptoms. Um, I don't know when I'm going to test. I always want to test, like, right now. Let's do it now. Let's see. Um, I don't want the stress of testing is negative and, you know, waiting for my period to come it doesn't come and then I'm like oh let me go get another test I feel like I'm gonna wait and see if my period comes before I start thinking about pregnancy tests but I will keep you guys updated on if I can wait on my period because I get anxious and I want to test I'm like let's go let's see what it is is it negative positive let's go so um in my next video I'll probably do a live pregnancy test so stay tuned for that um give me a like um, definitely subscribe because I'm going to try to keep these videos flowing, keep y'all updated and have a wonderful Sunday or whatever day you're watching this. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Peace.